welcome back to JG Online Service. Last week, we have learned about how our choices affect our life. And this week, this is part 2. We are going to learn about how our choices affect our relationship with God. Today, we are going to learn from a journey of a girl named Jeanette. In this journey, Jeanette has to make some choices and we will see how it goes. Enjoy! Hi kids! How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Today I'm going to the church for a sharing session from our teacher in JG. I'm so excited that you will all go with me, okay? And I have a new apps, you know? I got a JG map to go to the church. Let's check it out. Let's try together, okay? So, before we start, help me to prepare everything. Okay. First, I have worn my favorite clothes. I like these clothes. I'm going to dry. Second, I put all things here. My snacks. My toys, my gadgets, I cannot use them. I cannot eat, I cannot drink when I drive. Okay? Then, let's sing. Enjoy the drive. And we focus until we get to the church. Are you with me now? Let's start. I'm in the car now. I'm driving my black car. We're going to the church. Oops! Before we go there, we need to pray first. Okay? So please be with me. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today that you have given us health and your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for you are always with us and our family in whatever situation. Oh Lord Jesus, please teach us throughout the journey today so we can learn more about you and grow loving you more. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah! Amen! Well, okay, we should leave now, otherwise we will be late! Are we ready? Okay? Wait! I tell you, we're going to use JG Math, right? Let's try! It usually take only 20 minutes. Well, I think this is the new app, so they might need some upgrading. Um, I've been there a lot of time to the JG, so I think it will just fine for us to use our way, okay? Are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, and this is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Will not stray from the path. 
hearts that's right And I keep on seeking Keep on reaching Follow, follow, follow Jesus Christ I'm fixing my eyes on you I'm fixing my eyes on you I'm fixing my eyes on you Only
we thank you for your love. Lord, you are so good to us. And we know that you are enough for us, God. Lord, we want to choose you over everything in our lives. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Hi, 
I think my car have a problem. I heard some noises out of the engine car and I saw lots of smoke came out of it. So would you mind to have a look at it? Hmm, I think this is the problem. Well, I don't think so. Uh, I think this part has the problem. I bought this car for two years already and nothing happened before. So I guess this part has a problem. So you'd better check on it. That looks just fine to me. According to the manual, that's exactly the problem. How about we say it together this time, so that in case if anything like this ever happened again, you'll know what to do. Hmm, let's try it one more time. better follow the manual book to fix it. I cannot guess it, right? So you do it, right? Okay, well, uh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of late now. I, I want to talk with you, but okay, next time. So I'm going again to the church. Thank you so much. Bye. No worries. Stay safe. Bye. All right, kids, we have arrived in the church. Yeah, we're on time. Thanks God, we already right here. Uh, well, the teachers are coming, so we better get started and be ready. Okay? Hi, Janet. You just missed a great praise and worship session, but I'm glad. Even though you are late, you still make it to church. Great job, children. That is exactly what Auntie May wants to share with you today. How your choices affect your relationship with God the Father. Last week we learned whatever choice that you make will affect you and other people. We learned from Solomon to pray and ask God for his wisdom. For wisdom is more precious than silver and gold. Solomon wrote three books of the Old Testament. With the wisdom God gave Solomon, he was able to make Israel the richest and most powerful nation in the world. However, why is that Solomon's kingdom was not able to survive after him? Solomon, against God's word, chose to marry so many women from foreign lands who believed in many different idols. Solomon chose to only serve God, the Lord blessed him in all that he did and expanded his vast empire. But alas, trying to please his numerous wives, he chose to build temples to their idols. His heart became divided and no longer followed wholly after God. And when Solomon had a divided heart, it meant his kingdom will be divided as well. Solomon's wrong choices led to his downfall. His families, the generations after him, and all Israel too. Today, we want to learn how your choices affect your relationship with God. I have a very special equipment with me today. You can check if Tokopedia sells them. It's called the Relationship Meter. Now children, this is called the Relationship Meter. And when you are very close to God, it will go all the way to the left-hand corner here. Or your right hand. 
right? And it says that you are very close to God. But if it goes that way, that means you are getting further and further from God. Let's check whether it works. Now, for example, now that you are online learning, are you fully participating and doing all the homework that your teacher assigned you? If your answer is yes, oh wow, it's you're going closer to God because you're obeying His word, right? Now, how about if you are on your online learning, you're pretending to be in the class, but you are actually quietly playing on your game. Oh no! The hand has moved further from God. Okay, next question. How about you are helping your mom uh, preparing some goods for the orphanage and you are happily helping her. Oops! Wow, the meter shows that you are getting closer to God. Mm, but what happens if, let's say, your mom is busy preparing, but you are you continue to uh, be busy dancing on your TikTok? Uh oh, oh no! Well, let's try another question. I watch JG Live. The first thing on Sunday morning. Wow! Yes, you're getting closer to God because you please God, right? Or let's say on Sunday morning, instead of watching JG Live, you are on your Roblox or your YouTube first. Uh oh! So, children, if you make the right choice, you will draw near to God. But if you make the wrong choice, you will go far from Him. Now children, don't get me wrong. God the Father is faithful and He will always love you. He is always there full of love. But it's our own choices that cause us to either go near Him or to stray far from Him. So let us learn to make wise choices, the right choices that will bring us close to Him. But you say, Auntie May, that is so difficult to make the right choices each time. But you know what? God the Father has given you His Spirit who dwells within you and He will help you to make the right choices. Oh, by the way, Auntie May has got a great secret on how you can draw close to God the Father. Do you want to know how? Okay, watch this. I love my dad so much, so I'm going to make a special card for him. I'm gonna make the best cake for my daddy. I'm gonna wash daddy's car. Wow, Natalie, this book is great. Washing my car was awesome. And baking the cake was hallelujah. I love it. But you know, Natalie, you don't have to do all of this. You know what's most important? Why? Daddy just like you to spend time with me all the time. I love spending time with you. Okay? Okay. All right, should we go out? Yes. Okay. Let's go. You notice that children? What was it that really pleased the father? Was it Nettie's cake, her gifts, or was it her acts of service helping the dad to wash his car? Well, I think those are good, but what made the father really happy was when Nettie came to him, sat close to him, talk to him, listen to the father. That was what really mattered for the father. Likewise, children, God our Father in heaven loves it when we come to him, when we seek his presence, we praise and we worship him, we read his word diligently 
and we talk to him through our prayers and we listen for his word. That is as God the Father the most. See children, when you choose to go all the way out to seek his presence, you are saying to God how much you love him. But you know what children, when you are in his awesome presence, you get so much benefits. Do you want to know what? Benefits of a close relationship with God. He tells us his secrets. He advises us. He calls us his friends. He tells us everything that he learns from God the Father. He is our refuge and fortress. His protection is over us completely. No harm, no disaster, no COVID-19, no sicknesses or illnesses can come near us. We will have no fear in the face of storms. His angels will guide us in all our ways. We will live victoriously. He will give us honor and long life. So children, today we have learned how to have a close relationship with God. One, reading His Word daily. And two, pray for it is the best wireless communication with God. Three, learn to listen to His voice. Four, obey Him. The Holy Spirit that is in you and God's Word will help you, guide you to make every wise decision so that you will have a close relationship with God. God bless you. Okay, kids, today's lessons are amazing, right? Oh, I enjoy it so much. And I want to go back again to the church next week. Well, uh, now it's time to go home. And I don't want to get lost again. Now, I want to really look at it. And I'm going to follow it. I'm sure apps will guide us correctly okay see you again bye Jeanette is finally home on her way to the church she chose not to follow the direction from JG maps so she was stuck on a parade and got into car problems and you know she was almost late for the sharing session in the church thank God she made it on time and from the teacher in the church, she has learned about how our choices affect our relationship with God. What we can learn from Janet's journey is that we need to make wise choices by following the directions. As you can see, Janet on purposely did not follow the direction from JG Maps and got into troubles. And you can compare with the mechanic. Look what the mechanic did. The mechanic follow the instruction from the manual book so she can repair the car well actually god also has given us his direction anyone know what that is yes it's the bible the bible is our manual book and our directions so we need to read our bible every day and after this we will watch a video about adam and eve and how their choices affect their relationship with god Has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. You surely will not die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. You've touched the fruit and you did not die. Eve, what 
is the matter? I feel everything. God told us not to. I know, Adam. I know. Adam, where are you? I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. What is this you have done? The serpent deceived me, and I ate. <laughs> Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And you and the woman will be enemies, and all her descendants. And one will follow, who shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. From the video, we can see that Adam and Eve had made a bad choice by following the serpent and eating the forbidden fruit. Actually, they have destroyed their perfect relationship with God and they are no longer could communicate directly with God. Too bad, right? That's why we need to be wise in making choices because our choices can affect our relationship with God. And sins take us away from God. Luckily, that's not the end of the world, not the end of the story. Actually, God has made a brand new plan to save us, to redeem us. And it's through Jesus. Through Jesus, we can have the perfect relationship with God. And we even can have God in our lives. Yes, that's the Holy Spirit. As long as we believe in Jesus and we accept Jesus as our Savior, the Holy Spirit will live inside us. But what we can do if we accidentally made wrong choices? What if we sin? The answer is to repent and to say sorry wholeheartedly to God. You know that God is so good, right? He will forgive us, He will cleanse our sin, and He will accept us back. And this will fix our relationship with God. Okay? So, now it's time for quiz! Number 1. What is the consequence of making a bad decision? A. We can drift further from God. B. We can draw closer to God. Number 2. Read Genesis 3 verse 8 up to 10. What is this verse talking about? A. Adam and Eve's bad choice had broken their perfect relationship with God. B. Adam and Eve's are naked so they need to hide. Number 3. How do we cope and make the wise and good choices every day? A. Read the Bible for God's guidance. B. Talk to God and tell Him about our life and our struggles and choices. C. Do whatever we want. D, A, and B are correct. Okay, children, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your abundant blessings upon us so that we can enjoy your presence through this online service. Today, we have learned about how our choices affect our relationship with you. Please give us the wisdom in making choices so that we can always make the right choices and please you with our choices. 
God, we would like to pray for our country, Indonesia. Thank you for your abundant blessings upon Indonesia, and we believe that you will make Indonesia healthier and blessed even more. We pray also for our church leaders, Pastor Nico and Dr. Yanto. Give them blessings and wisdom to lead the church, and we pray that you will expand their ministries. God, we are also praying for our family, our friends to be always healthy and blessed. Heal those who are sick right now and make them healthy again. In Lord Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.